Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you guys are new here, my channel is all about fashion, lifestyle and beauty. So if that's your thing and you do get to enjoy this video, make sure you press that subscribe button. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to style different kinds of coats. I'm going to take you through from um, transitional coats straight to straight through to winter coats. Just because right now in the UK, it's like we're like in a mixture of hot and cold. Sometimes it gets hot, sometimes it gets cold. So I'm going to show you guys um, a multiple range of different kinds of coats. As you guys can see, I do have quite a lot of coats. This is not just my only coat rack, I'm literally staring at one right in front of me. I do have quite a bit of coats, but no one needs this many coats. I have accumulated this many coats because um, this is my job, this is what I do. I get sent a bunch of things, um, including coats, so I'm always updating my wardrobe. As a normal person, you don't need this many coats. I would definitely say maybe invest in one or two coats, three max, I would say you know one formal one depending on your style and then one casual one and just one to switch between the two starting off with this jacket and uh, this is one of my bomber jackets I definitely feel like you need a bomber jacket in your wardrobe just because it's such a great casual jacket but also keeps you warm I got this one from Urban Bliss and I believe I got this in a size 8 I will leave links of everything down below and if anything is sold out I will li link alternatives so that you guys can go and get them um, this is such a great coat just because you can literally style this with jeans I usually would wear this with like leather pants like what I'm wearing at the moment and it's just so so comfortable has two pockets it's so like I don't know it's the perfect coat for like an everyday casual outfit the next jacket is an aviator jacket this is a total must-have I got this aviator jacket from misguided and I did size up in a size 12 I'm not sure whether they still have this in stock but I will link um, similar ones I know new look have a very very similar one to this I sized up twice so I'm usually a si actually twice I sized up from a size 6 to a size 12 in this because I wanted the oversized look I love love the fit of this I definitely with an oversized look you kind of can play around with it and can wear this with a lot of things I used to usually tend to wear this with high necks during the winter and then when it's like transitional stage I would wear it with a bodysuit um, just to keep me nice and cool I just love the um, shirling on this there is also a different other coat I want to speak to you guys about so it's a uh, it's kind of similar to the aviator jacket but it's more like a shirling um, but with an aviator jacket I feel like it's more casual than the shirling which I will speak to you guys in a bit but yeah I would definitely size up and get yourself one of these for a nice casual coat Shirling jackets are my absolute favorite and this one from Mistress Rocks is one of my favorites. I love styling this um, in the winter and actually during the transitional um, stage um, from autumn to winter. Um, it's incredible. It's so warm. Inside it's like this um, shirling material. It is on the collar. You can actually find um, other jackets like this with the shirling all over inside but this has a quilted lining which keeps me so warm during the winter um, I, if you guys remember during lockdown um, when lockdown was over and then we weren't allowed to eat inside we were only allowed to eat outside I took this jacket with me and everyone was freezing and I was just there like I'm good <laughs> I don't know about you this is honestly the best jacket I will show you guys a picture of a similar one um, from Karen Millen which I'm literally eyeing and it looks incredible that looks like um, freaking heaven you literally not even feel cold like honestly it looks incredible I do um, also I did also find another similar one which I will leave on the screen and I'll show you also guys how I um, style this I usually would wear this with leather trousers I feel like you guys are gonna get sick and tired of me the entire video I pair everything with leather trousers but it just goes really well you can also wear these with shorts because it's so warm I wouldn't be so worried about getting cold if I was wearing shorts I'd wear shorts with knee-high boots a high neck and I'm good to go you don't even need this scarf with this because the collar in itself is already like protective 
I didn't want to speak much about um, leather jackets but you cannot go wrong with leather jackets um, you can style leather jackets with a bunch a bunch of things um, in the winter I would wear I would probably wear one of these and then put a, a thick coat over like just for fashion <laughs> and to keep you warm but this is a perfect transitional um, jacket I have this jacket this one is also from misguided I, it's not new guys this is literally it still has a tag I've never not worn it I probably have worry and forgot to take the tag um, and this one also has a tag I do love both jackets I love styling this with a nice high neck um, dress with knee-high boots or like um, a leather trousers with you know or denim trousers it just goes really well it's a really great casual piece I have got this in a camo and black I will see if I can link both of these below but I will find similar ones if I can't find them I love love a good trench coat a trench coat is perfect for um, the transitional stage coming from autumn to winter this one from River Island is my absolute favorite and I felt so guilty when I posted it on Instagram and I couldn't link it for you guys I got so I, I felt so bad because this is honestly my absolute favorite I hope they release it again this year um, I did get this in a size 8 I did say true to size um, with this when it comes to jackets I always tend to get, tend to get them in a size 8 just because I can wear um, things inside this will be perfect for um, wearing with a turtleneck um, a simple basic and then just putting this over like what I'm wearing at the moment um, for like a nice completed look I did style this with um, a dress um, a bodycon dress with um, knee-high boots and it looks incredible I don't know whether to class this as a um, blazer or as a jacket but I'm just gonna quickly touch upon this I have this brown um, blazer am I actually gonna say blazer I feel like it's more of a jacket because it's um, leather material this is in color brown I do have this ooh, I do have this in black as well I have this um, this is actually recent from fourth reckless they kindly gifted me this and then this is oh this one is also from River Island this is brand new I will um, share all the links down below this I got in a size 8 and this one I also got in a size 8 I usually tend to size up one when it comes to um, blazers like this but I also feel like this is this has become um, a huge trend lately with a lot of um, styles and those people styling this with matching um, leather trousers um, and literally just styling it with anything basic I will leave some inspo pictures on the screen and show you guys how I also styled it I will definitely wear it with this I feel like this is like the perfect um, sort of um, what is the word like inside piece or like a simple outfit to wear with any jacket during the winter so I feel like it would just go really well with everything this one is from Zara recently from my um, Zara, previous Zara haul if you guys haven't checked it out and this one is also from fourth reckless which I love the fit of it just looks incredible Bork coats have become such a massive trend I will show you guys a selection of my bulk coats um, I got this one recently from fourth reckless um, this is um, in the Elsa collection I love love this I also have another black and white one which I'll show you guys in a minute but I love this now this I'm also breaking the pattern I ugh, like what can you say about this this is so warm this is a coat that you need for winter I wouldn't even wear a scarf with this I mean if it really gets cold definitely wear a scarf but it literally just on its own it's heavy but not too heavy that it weighs you down it's just the right amount of heavy and when you put it on you literally feel like a heater so it will keep you warm throughout the um, throughout the winter the it comes with like pockets on the side which I love to just obviously um, you know keep stuff in there this is the other jacket from fourth reckless and Elsa I love this jacket it is incredible it is so long I am 5'6 um, just for reference but it is so long it is uh, so warm I could live in this jacket 
I like right now I'm always gravitating to this jacket I'm like Flora you've got so many jackets wear something else so I literally have to stop myself from wearing this jacket this jacket is so warm it has side pockets on both sides it's it has buttons down the front but I barely use the buttons down the front I just leave it open like I still stay warm when it's windy I'm like all wrapped up all warm and cozy this is literally a total must have I would definitely say if you want if you are one for prints definitely invest in this as your everyday not everyday as your winter coat um, you know as I mentioned you only need three coats in your wardrobe and I'll definitely like class this one as one I have this white coat that comes out every year this one is long. When I say it's long, it's long. It's a floor length. It literally it does it doesn't drag on the floor. I am 5'6, but it doesn't drag on the floor. It's basically my height. Um it is incredible. I love this coat and I'm gonna see if they have it in um River Island again. I did get this from River Island and I did get this in a size 8. I literally wear this every winter and I'm the warmest, coziest person ever. Um, it is, it does take a lot of um, cleaning so I do need to take this to the dry cleaners. Ever since getting it last year I didn't get it dry clean and looking at it now I know I need, it, I need to take it to the dry clean but this is a, um, I would, would I say it's a single breasted no, it's a double breasted coat. It looks like that when it's closed. It's just the perfect, smartest coat. If they have this in black, I would definitely get it. This is another double breasted coat. This one I got from Caramillion. It's one of my favorite coats. I absolutely love this, but I only wear this during the winter. This is one of those coats that would definitely keep you warm. And I also feel like this is one of, one of those coats that Caramillion always releases every year. So you will definitely find a similar one like this. I do wish it was a little bit lighter, but I freaking love this coat. One thing I would say is that um, overhead is a little bit more puffed up so when you are wearing it it's more like a um i don't know like a raised overhead just to let you guys know but i know i have seen a similar one which has a normal overhead which i will link down below i love the fact that this is double breasted it just gives you that smart look um and also obviously keeping you warm at the same time i call olivia pope um <laughs> coat this one is from Karen Millen this is an investment um, but obviously I'm gonna link you guys a similar one I love this coat it is long as well it does give you that Olivia Pope sophisticated look which I love um, the neckline is very different from any other neckline when you are wearing it it basically closes like this it's like a lapel um, shawl I don't know the construction I just love it's just a different kind of sophistication um, but this is one of those coats that I would invest in if you are someone who is working in law um, someone who's working in a corporate field and you just want to look nice and put together every day this is a warm coat but it is a coat that I would wear mid um, mid-November no, not during the cold periods during the cold periods I would definitely layer something inside of this last but not least I have this coat from Lipsy London I did get this in a size 8 one thing about this coat that I don't like so much that I am planning on um, changing is the buttons the buttons are silver silver is not my color my color is mainly gold but i still wear this coat this coat is incredibly warm and i do love lipsy london coats i do have another one from lipsy london that i've had for three years now i absolutely love them honestly their coats are incredible they do usually have like a tie waist which is one thing i love about coats you don't want to look too frumpy you don't want to look too like stuffed up you know like when you're wearing so many layers um, it's always nice to have a tie waist coat that just cinches everything in, shows you shape. I just think it looks really incredible. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been fun showing you guys literally my coat selections. I feel kind of guilty, 
but again you don't need this many coats in your wardrobe you just need one or two staple pieces definitely stick to the blacks and creams to start start your wardrobe that's how I started um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys on my next one bye